Hey guys, Celestial here, and welcome to another Origin Realms update showcase. This time we have a returning event, so let's check it out. And we've got plenty to cover. This update added new cosmetics, furniture, and tools, a new mob, and a new block to decorate your realm with. Firstly, let's take a look at the new spawn. It has been updated for the event with tons of decor everywhere. We've also got this new merchant that I'm going to talk about later. Now, to get all of the fancy Lunar New Year items, you first need to earn red envelopes. There are two ways you can get them. The first way is by finding a special mob, the Jade Rabbit. They spawn periodically around you on grass blocks whenever you're not AFK. Just hit them once and they'll drop a single red envelope. Another way you can get red envelopes is by shooting down special lunar lanterns at night. The best way to find them is to walk east in the resource world. They drop a crate that you have to break. And unlike trade rabbits, you usually get 1 to 4 red envelopes from a single crate. And some exclusive furniture as well. And now that you know everything, it's time to grind. Wow, we also got a key. That's a very rare drop. So, I've grinded a lot and I managed to get about 4 stacks of red envelopes. And I got lucky and managed to get myself a lunar crate key from a balloon. Remember the merchant I've mentioned before? Well, just like in other events, you can trade your red envelopes with him, the Jade Emperor, for some special items. Now I don't recommend buying furniture with your envelopes, because it's usually just overpriced. Personally, I'm going to buy Lunar Crate Keys, so let's do that. And we got about 5 Lunar Crate Keys. We're gonna open them now. I'll show you the opening of the first crate, and then I'll show the loot that I get. From 5 Lunar Crates, I got mostly furniture, except for that one cosmetic. But keep in mind that you have free rerolls that you can use, so you'll probably get whatever you want eventually. Now that we know everything about the new event, let's look at the permanent changes added in the update. The first thing on our list are Koi Fish, a new mob that you can buy from a merchant behind the community center, Toro. Koi are purely decorative and meant for collectors, so they'll cost you quite a bit. There are four types of Koi in total. Kohaku Koi, Shoba Koi, Utsuri Koi and Yamabuki Koi. So, for the next feature we need some materials. So let me just take this... And some of this... And we got Garden Sand. The special thing about Garden Sand is that you can shape it by using a hoe any way you like. You can also remove the pattern with a shovel. Garden Sand allows you to create cool drawings like this creeper one I just made. There was also a funny bug with it. You weren't supposed to interact with the Garden Sand at spawn, but you could. So instead of looking like this, most patterns looked like this, 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 and... Oh wait, this one isn't actually that bad. And the final thing that got added are two new cosmetic finishes, the chrome and glitch finish. This is how they look side by side. And that was all, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.